Get in your zone. What is what is you? What are you doing right now? But I'm back. I'm back for something nice and short and sweet. Wanted to let you guys all know what it is that I'm in school getting in depth for. So I feel like this video is needed on this channel because I haven't sat down and really explained to you guys what podiatry even is. So I'm going to take this opportunity to talk a little bit about what podiatry is. I compiled some information from the American Podiatric Medical Association and the American Podiatric Medical Students Association and the American Association of Colleges of Podiatric Medicine. So I hope that I hit most of the main points that you guys are wondering about. If I don't, feel free to ask me questions. I'd be glad to answer any questions you guys will have. So first, what is a podiatrist? By definition, quote unquote, quote, a podiatrist is a doctor of podiatric medicine, DPM abbreviations, a physician and surgeon who treats the foot, ankle, and related structures of the leg. And you can kind of compartmentalize or put those things in the lower extremity bracket. So we focus on the lower extremity. Training to become a podiatrist is very similar to the training of other physicians in different fields. So the only difference kind of is the length of the residency and when you enter medical school, you are already en route to your specialty. Like you've chosen your specialty from the moment you start your program. So first you do do um, your four years of undergrad or however long it takes for you to do your undergrad to get a bachelor's. Then you take your MCAT just like any other medical school application process would require you to. After you take your MCAT, you apply. Once you take your MCAT, you get accepted, like I know plenty of you will be, you start your four year long podiatric medicine training. There's nine podiatric medical schools that you can choose from to apply to and attend. So the first two years consist of um, lecture based learning. You learn all the basic sciences, you do anatomy, you do all that stuff. Yes, you get a cadaver in anatomy as well. Your last two years um, include your clinical rotations and your externships. So your third year would be clinical rotations and your externships consist of rotations that you do in different places that you would like to do your residencies in. In a way they're kind of month long um, interviews for residency programs to residency programs and their directors to get to know you a lot better. So after you finish these four years, you graduate from a doctor program. After you graduate, you start your three year long residency. And this residency is a surgical residency. Yes, three years for a surgical residency. Get hit with it, all right? After that, when you finish your residency, you are a licensed position ready to practice on your own do whatever it is you want to do on your own but you also do have the option of completing a fellowship although it's not required you can complete a fellowship of your choosing now there are different specialties that you can focus in these are some that I'm going to name but they're not limited to these trust me there's plenty more but the main ones are surgery just general surgery, sports medicine, wound care, pediatrics, and diabetic care. When you finally finish your schooling and your residency and your surgical training and this and your that and that, 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 and you're a doctor, you can utilize x-rays, you can perform surgeries, you can prescribe medicine, you can order different labs, you can set fractures, you can take care of wounds, you can do so many things, so many things. And in fact, over time, our profession has been ranked as one of the best to dealing with lower extremity um, situations that include 
either complications in general or preventing amputation. Quick fun fact to end this video, we were once known as chiropodists, C-H-I-R-O-P-O-D-I-S-T, chiropodist is, and in the United States, um, podiatry as a profession like was first established in New York in the year the year 1895 thank you so much for tuning into this video I hope you enjoy if you're interested please do some more research it's a beautiful profession I just gave you guys like the main points but there's so much more out there I hope you enjoyed. Give it a like. Subscribe if you're looking forward to seeing my beautiful. I'm just kidding. My face a little more often. And I hope you have a good night. Bye.